Hey, it's your tech liaison, Victor Lowe, and today we're going to continue by working on the slideshow, which is another way of saying of putting an image on your computer, on your uh, particular headline site. If you want to leave it as one picture, that's kind of nice because it just acts like it's one picture. Whereas you put more, then it would kind of have a running slideshow with a fade effect. The tricky thing is to make sure your picture is the right size. Too big, it won't fit, and if it's too small, it'll look really dinky and not and disproportional. We want to get it in that 500 to 375 pixel um, measurement, which is pretty easy. If you find your picture, you're going to go to this site called PickResize.com. I'm going to click on that, which is on the next slide, and it's going to take me to the site, which looks a little bit like this. In the meantime, you can search for whatever picture. I went ahead and found Batman, like this one right here. You can save it. I have saved image, but make sure you know where you save it. Um, you do have the option of just going ahead and put a picture online, uh, from connected from online, but I suggest modifying the actual picture on your computer. Uh, you can hit Browse, and I, I put it on my desktop, so it's listed right here. And... I'm going to hit open, and once I hit open, I know that the picture has been loaded because simply I just look, and that's the JPEG that was listed there. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue, and it's going to do this dandy thinking thing. That's on the bottom left. Oh, it's pretty fast now. There's Batman. Now, once I have Batman, I'm going to scroll down to the second page, second step, where it says I'm going to resize my picture. I'm going to click on this and scroll to the bottom where it says custom size it's great because now we can t designate what pixels we want and I believe memory serves me correct it's 500 by 375 once I have that done you can add a special effect ooh great Polaroid why not since we're doing this and I'm gonna hit done like any other tricky website, they're going to have this advertisements. Um, I, I've done this before where it says download now and it's right here, but it takes you to another site. Don't focus. Uh, right now it's the Energizer Bunny, but focus on this right here where it says save the disk. That's the legit part. I'm going to hit save the disk. It's going to save. Well, let's just do Batman test. All right, and I'm gonna go back to my headline page, and we're gonna work on that face uh, slide show right here. And I'm gonna click, go to the right hand. I'm gonna hover over the picture, and as soon as I hover the picture, the on the upper right hand corner, you're gonna see that place filler. Once again, we've mentioned that. It's so like right, I'll kind of circle it right there, right there. Um, for those of you guys that've been watching my my tutorials and it takes us here you're like oh no what do we do that's it's fine we're gonna add so you see that button that says add it's kinda easy the colors change you're going to see that and your browser should have the option that says pick files to today on Internet Explorer it did not give that option because well it's Microsoft um, that'll leave the, all jokes aside there. Pick, pick files. And I, oop, there's mine right there. Batman test. Open that. And then the second option, it says right here, start upload. Gonna click on that feature. And it's gonna think, but it's gonna think real fast. Assuming. Oh, and it says, it even gives you a little warning right here. Completed. Once I hit done, I should have that picture already in there. However, what you could do is you could add more pictures by hitting add and add, and that way it can slide through it and whatnot. Uh, and lo and behold, my Polaroid image of my hero Batman, which is amazing, might I add. Uh, so that's how you add a picture under SciShow.